Hi, welcome in May 9th. Let's go to God's word. First for today. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything, to stand. Ephesians 6, verse 13. David, 1 Samuel 17, verses 34 to 40. The armor of God. King Saul had some doubts about David's ability to fight the huge Philistine. David was just a boy, yet no one else had been willing to take on Goliath. So Saul said, may the Lord be with you. Then he gave David his armor. David put on Saul's bronze helmet and coat of armor. Then he strapped Saul's sword over the armor. As David walked around, he realized that the armor was too heavy for him. So he took the armor off and headed down the valley without it. How can I protect myself from the devil's attacks? David was about to face the fiercest warrior in the Philistine army with a stick and a sling. David didn't need Saul's armor because he was already wearing God's armor. King Saul may have shaken his head in unbelief, but the battle had already been won in David's mind. You can also be on the winning side by putting on God's armor. Ephesians 6, verses 14 to 17. Tie the belt of truth tightly around your waist so that you do not get tripped up with wrong ideas about God. Protect your heart with the beast, the breastplate of righteousness. Let purity and goodness guard your heart from sin. Wear the gospel of peace shoes so that you can spread the good news of God's love everywhere. Carry the shield of faith so you can stop the burning arrows of doubt. Put on the helmet of salvation, which you get when you ask Jesus to become the Lord of your life. Use the sword of the spirit, which is God's word.